Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your November 15th to the 30th, 2022 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Before we begin the reading, Leo, let us have divinity, God, bless us. Move us forward in peace, love, harmony, and grace letting all that is negative, harmful, hateful, be repelled from us. Let's see what energy we have to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. We have the three of wands. Spirit just said too many options coming our way, a sense of trying to get too many things done at one time. I'm really seeing this almost as three people or three opportunities. It could be like three things at work that we have to get done, three people that need our attention, and we're going to be pulled in each direction and not really know which way to stand for us. So just be just be very aware of that. They can be rather chaotic during this time. There's also a sense of something opening to us something making itself known, but yet it's going to be kind of the opposite of what we want. But there's going to be a reason why we feel like, oh, but I should be doing this. I should be moving that way. So just be aware of that. Let's look at what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. And show me clearly, angels. Okay. So we have the moon. Oh, I'm showing you the moon right here. And then the Roman numeral. We have the king of swords. The sword and king. The three of wands. Which is coming through again. We have the three of wands here and the chariot. So chariot is water sign energy. And we also have the moon, which is the chariot is, is cancer energy represents cancer energy. The moon represents Pisces energy. So very strong emotions coming forward during this time. The Pisces time frame is February 19th to March 20th. Okay, there's going to be a lot of changes that are happening around us pretty much up until the end of of Pisces time frame. So that would be March 20th. We're going to see a lot of things changing. We're also going to see what we're looking at, what we deem to be important. That is growing and waning, gr growing and waning. So that's going to be something that is, is becoming more than we expected. And at times it's going to be less than we expected. So just know that there's a lot of change in our lives around the way that things are opening. And I just need to look at this, this card, because here it's very interesting. One bird has all their has their wing, you know, tied to, tied to the wands. And there's a sense here of either somebody's having trouble flying, like somebody's having trouble being able to be all that they, they really want to be, or we ourselves feel tied down, you know, kind of trapped in some sort of situation that 
we don't want to be in or we didn't think it was going to be this hard. So just being aware of that is going to be very important. We have really, really, really gotten a better hold on our voice, what we want, how to advocate for ourselves. The the king of of swords is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. But it is also the sense of, I know what I want. I'm stating what I need. I'm looking at the facts of things. And we're just going to reason things quite well for ourselves and quite powerfully for ourselves with the chariot. Okay. If we're born on the cusp with cancer, that part of our personality coming through very, very strongly, but our emotions can take over, which is kind of going to be frustrating because we also have this really profound logical side coming forward. And we can feel like, okay, when the emotions take over, like just kind of swell up, everything gets tangled, everything gets all messed up. So we're going to want to go to the other extreme of being super logical and super pragmatic. We need to find a middle ground because we're also going to find that we're really taking the reins of things. We need our heart to be involved as much as we need, you know, our logic to be involved. The moon, okay, is important because we're ruled by the sun. The sun and the moon, they balance each other. And we're going to find that there's a cooling energy that is balancing us during this time. And that's going to be important here. We're also going to find that if we push ourselves too hard, we can find that we get a bit exhausted by the time the nighttime comes. Like by the time the sun starts to go down, we can feel super, super drained. And if we're in the Northern Hemisphere, you know, winter comes quite quickly, you know, well, night comes quite quickly in winter. So we can feel ourselves drained rather early. So acknowledging that can be very important. And also acknowledging that, that oh, I forget what it's called, but that time cycle of the sun being important for being awake, the night being important for being asleep, that's going to play a big part with us during this time. Circadian rhythm, that's it. Okay, so let's go a bit deeper. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides. Okay. There's some sort of emotional manipulation that's coming forward here. Some sort of lie that is keeping you tangled. And there's a way that you're taking the reins of it. So that's going to be very important. Oh, let me show you the cards. We have the king of cups right here. We have the tower. We have the knight of wands. That will be you. You're represented by the wands in the minor arcana. I love the robin that this person is writing. So there's that the robin, the cardinal that this person is robin, writing. And there's just a real sense of of a passion and beauty, but also of really embracing the winter. Because if you live in the, the colder climates, you know, the robin is here. And then... And in that burst of color within the kind of dreariness of winter. And then we have the seven of swords. There is something. Okay. There is a power that we are, are embracing. But there is also a connection here around an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius that is shattering. Okay. This will most likely be a man. And this is a person who is very braggadocious. Okay. They, they say a lot. They say a lot. They come through it very little. Okay. We're not going to have much need with this person. This can be a traumatic event. The tower represents a very intense change, a very intense shift. And we can find that this is the person who is really tangled. They're not able to fly forward the way that they need to. Okay. And that needs to be acknowledged. There is a huge change that has happened with the embracing of our voice, embracing what we desire and embracing of what we need. There is a sense of the foundation has changed and we're seeing what's important to us has, has taken on new roles and we ourselves have taken on new roles. We are going to be able to move forward. We're not going to tell everybody everything. There is a sense here of, I don't want to be tangled. I, I don't need to be overwhelmed, but it's almost like we ourselves sometimes get tangled as we look at the new horizons, as we look at what's opening to us or the responsibilities. And we're not telling everybody or we're not letting it be known to certain people. Spirit is really saying there's nothing to be ashamed of here. You know, let yourself 
express what needs to be expressed. Don't think, oh, I have to handle this all on my own or I'm not doing it right. No, that's not it at all. With the with the chariot, we're taking the reins. The The emotions can be very intense. There's a lie that's going to be coming out and it's going to be one that's rather emotional to us or something here, like some sort of something is unlocked and it's like, oh my gosh, I didn't see that before. Oh my gosh, that was the key. And there's a real sense of I lead by emotional understanding. But also if we have Pisces energy within our natal chart, that's coming through so powerfully here. That energy, that power, that insight, that that awakening. There is a huge sense of change, but there's also this sense of I'm moving forward as an example. It's almost like I'm moving forward as an example. Everybody needs to follow my lead or leave me alone. And you can choose which one, but I'm going to move forward this way. My heart is my main is my main goal. And for us, Leo, what that means when our heart is our main goal is that our passion, our fire, our intensity, yes, that's important, but we need to center ourselves. Meditation can be very important or just sitting quietly, you know, embracing what we love, who we are, what we're passionate about, what we need, what we desire. That's going to be everything because when we open up our heart, we are going to find that we are unstoppably strong. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is is Aquarius energy, okay? That can be the energy here because Aquarius is an air sign. That could be the energy here that we're seeing tremendous change around, but we're also seeing tremendous change around our dreams and what we desire. It was one way and we thought it would stay that way. Now it's starting to shift and we're going to see ourselves needing to be more kind of elastic with our thinking, with our desires, with what we need, with what we want, with the way that we're looking at things. Our dreams are opening up. We need to be also mindful that somebody can use what we dream and what we long for against us. So just be aware of that. Our subconscious tarot energy is strength and the page of cups. We need to have strength around what we love, around what we're learning to love. It's also around a child here. We are represented by the strength card. So we ourselves are coming up and the connection to what we love, but what also we're learning to love and how we're learning to take care of things is coming forward quite profoundly. The heart is guiding us and we need to listen, but also it's going to be new for us to really trust our emotions in a way that doesn't have them running us ragged. So just be very, very, very aware of that because our emotions can run us ragged, but there is a secret being revealed. There is a lie coming forward that has held us back, that has held us lock, locked away for way too long. And now that tower, I just see this very much as like Rapunzel's tower. It's crumbling down. We're not locked away in it. We are freed. And that's quite beautiful. All right. All right, Leo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Leo, and may blessings, prosperity, and abundance always be with you. God bless.